Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of JRC TV. My name is Jarek Robbins, performance coach, lifestyle entrepreneur. I'm here to help you be the happiest, healthiest, most fulfilled version of yourself. Today we're talking about the power of choice. So when talking about the power of choice, what do I mean? What I mean is, first, download today's worksheet. If you grab a copy of the worksheet off of our blog, jerickrobbins.com forward slash blog, we'll have the worksheet right below the video. If you're on YouTube, they'll have a link to the worksheet there. If you grab a copy of that worksheet, what we've done is we've mapped out each of the major categories of life. If you're not familiar with the majors, we talk about in our best-selling book, Live It, Achieve Success by Living With Purpose. If you grab a copy of the worksheet, what I want you to do is think through each and every major area of your life, your health, your emotions, your body, your finances, your family. If you look at these categories, I want you to answer this question honestly from the gut and from the soul of who you are. First, are you truly using the power you have within you to choose every single day of who, what, when, where, how it's going to go down each day? Or are you allowing life, other people, your work, the people around you, your family, your significant other, your children to decide those things for you? Are you getting constantly pushed and pulled and jarred and jerked all the way around town? Or have you laid out a plan and you know exactly how you're going to deliver? Now that's up to you. Now in each category, I want you to answer that specifically from your soul and just be honest with yourself. Are you in charge? Are you choosing how, what, when, and where? Or is it being decided for you from some other place? Now, if you are in charge, what do you really want to make happen in that area of your life? You know, what do you, what are the goals? What do you have to shift? What choices do you have to make today, this moment, to ensure that it's going to consistently head exactly where you want it to go? Now, we're headed towards the second or third month of the year already, and are you on track? Are you kicking butt? Are you taking names? Are you making the magic happen that you dreamed about in January when you set your goals for the year? Now, if you're on track, how do you keep going? If you're off track, what new choice, what new decision do you have to make today to get right back on track, to jump right back on and keep moving forward? Now, as you comb through each of those areas, the other piece I want you to identify is If it's being decided for you, who's deciding and why are you letting them do that? Who's making the decisions in your life? If you're letting someone else, if you're letting life, your work, your children, your spouse, someone else decide these things for you, why? Some people are just thinking, hey, forget it. I don't want to have to think about it. I just let go. Just hang on for the ride. If that's how you want to live life, go for it. But those of you who really want to make the most out of life, you're going to have to step up and make some true decisions here. You're going to have to get the power of choice back in your hand. Now, you can choose not to decide on certain things and say, listen, I choose to opt out on this one. That's okay. But you made a conscious choice to do it. You didn't just default to whatever happened. And in thinking about this, if you are not currently making the decision in certain categories of your life, either A, What are you going to change right now, this moment to start making the decisions and start making it how you want it to be? Or B, you're just going to decide to opt out on that one. That's okay, but I I don't think it's going to really add up to what you dream of in life because now your life's being determined by someone else's dreams. And I've heard it said for entrepreneurs, either you have the guts to go out and build the business of your dreams or you're going to work for someone else who did. And the same goes true in your health, your finances, your family. Either you have the guts to go after what you really want in life, or you're going to land up working with or for someone who else who did have the guts, and you're just putting in the work to make their dreams come true. So that's up to you. Make the right decision. Do what works best for you. Now, let me solve something real quick. We're going to get some feedback, and we've had this in the past where people say, well, uh, what if I have a partner? What if I'm in a business and someone else is the visionary and I'm the fulfillment? That's totally fine. What if I'm in a relationship and my wife really wants this? You know, do I help make her dreams come true? Of course, if that's what you desire, if that's what you choose to do. There's nothing wrong with supporting if it's a choice you've made. Now, supporting out of a place of, oh, I wish I could go do something else, but I end up doing this all day, that's not the place to live. So either make the choice to be there and deliver or choose to opt out and get out of there and let someone else take your place who really wants to be there. 
that's a better suggestion for those positions. Anyways, download today's worksheet. Define what areas of your life you're totally making solid decisions in, you're owning it and loving it. Define what areas of your life someone else is deciding for you and how you're gonna take back your power of choice and really start deciding from this moment forward. Have some fun making some decisions. Please, Facebook, Twitter, in the blog, in the comment section, please share with us what areas of your life are you totally kicking butt in, making all the choices of how, what, when, and where. How have you done it? You know, what's your strategy? What's your secret? How do you do it? How often do you do it? And for those areas of life that you've allowed someone else to take control, why? And what do you do to plan to take back control and really get life back in your hands? That power, claim your power and make life the way you want it to be. Now, the reason I ask you to share is other people reading this, they're gonna see those comments, they're gonna see those strategies, and it might help them more than what I can do right now on this footage. Also, if I read your strategy and I see something I might be able to help you with after 13 years of coaching with thousands of clients, I'd be happy to share some advice with you on the blog in the comment section, so feel free to ask. Anyways, have an amazing week. I look forward to seeing you next week for another episode of JRC TV.